Your liver is a remarkable organ. It works tirelessly to keep your body balanced and healthy. Much like the captain of a ship navigating treacherous waters, it regulates numerous processes, detoxifies harmful substances and produces essential proteins. However, many of us unknowingly damage our liver with very bad habits that can hinder its harmonious functions, potentially leading to serious repercussions. That's why in this video I will unveil 10 common habits that could damage your liver if left unchanged. Make sure to watch all the way till the end since the last point is by far the most vicious one. Let's get started. Number 10. Being overly frustrated or stressed. Imagine a busy day at work, deadlines piling up, emails flooding in and your boss breathing down your neck. Your stress levels are skyrocketing and you can practically feel the tension in your body. Now let's talk about your liver. It works tirelessly to keep your body balanced, just like an acrobat maintaining balance on a delicate beam. But when you're constantly stressed or frustrated, your body releases stress hormones like cortisol which can disrupt this balance. Think of it as throwing unexpected obstacles onto the acrobat's path. Your liver, busy dealing with these hormonal changes, might not be able to process toxins as effectively. Over time this can strain the liver and contribute to inflammation. It's like sending your liver into a chaotic obstacle course when it's used to a smooth walk. According to experts there's a possible link between increased levels of psychological distress and several liver diseases. So remember while life can be challenging finding ways to manage stress and frustration can help your liver maintain its graceful balance. Number 9. Not getting enough sleep. Picture this, your alarm blares in the morning and you drag yourself out of bed after a very short night of partying or staying up too late. We've all been there. The fatigue, the grogginess, it's like you're running on empty. Now what does this have to do with your liver? Think of it as the ultimate night shift worker responsible for repairing and rejuvenating your body while you sleep. But when you consistently skimp on sleep, it's like forcing that night shift worker to operate on half power. Just as you can function where with without proper rest, your liver can efficiently process and detoxify if it's not given the time it needs. Toxins start to build up, much like leaving trash to pile up when the garbage collector doesn't show up. This can put extra stress on your liver and lead to potential damage down the line. According to experts, sleep deprivation can lead to an imbalance in liver function and serve conditions like non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Not only does your liver deal with toxins, but it's also involved in regulating glucose levels and managing fat metabolism. So skipping on sleep can disrupt these functions, potentially contributing to liver issues. Are you enjoying the video so far? Then support my channel by clicking that subscribe button down there. It's completely free and takes you one second. Thanks and let's continue with the video. Number 8. Eating processed foods. Picture this, your day is jam packed with tasks and you barely have time to sit down for a proper meal. So you reach for these convenient processed snacks. Chips, packaged cookies, instant noodles, they are easy and quick, we all did it. But here's the catch, these foods might be easy on your schedule, but they are not so easy on your liver. Think of your liver as a filter for your body, a gatekeeper that decides what goes in and what stays out. Now imagine dumping a bag of confetti onto that filter, it's not designed to handle that and it'll get clogged up. Processed foods are often loaded with additives, sugars, preservatives and unhealthy fats. Your liver has to work over time to process these foreign substances and over time this can lead to inflammation and liver damage. According to research, a diet high in processed foods is linked to an increased risk of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Just as you choose a clear path over a congested one, opting for whole, unprocessed foods can help your liver operate smoothly, keeping that filter clean and functional. Number 7. Taking too many supplements. Is the following your morning ritual? You reach for a handful of pills, each encapsulating a promise of health and vitality. Vitamins A and C, shining like gems and herbal supplements like like kava and comfrey brimming with nature's potential. These are all good for you, right? Not quite. Your liver, the guardian of balance in your body, is well equipped to handle nutrients in moderation, but if you flood your system with them, it might become a problem. According to studies, both excess vitamin A and C can be a heavy burden for your liver and lead to serious liver injury. Now let's talk about herbal supplements. The allure of the natural can sometimes mask potential risks. Kava and comfrey, for instance, have been linked to Livid toxicity in high doses. Therefore, be mindful about taking multivitamins and herbal supplements without talking to your doctor first. Number six, not drinking enough water. We all do it way too often. We get up and don't feel thirsty. Then we just instantly drink a cup of coffee to wake up, skipping water. This continues throughout the day and we neglect our hydration. That's a bad habit that can hurt your liver in the long run. Think of your liver as a diligent housekeeper, tidying up after the body's metabolic activities. Just like your cleaning is more effective with ample water, your liver's detoxification processes thrive 
save on hydration. Imagine this scenario. Your liver is sorting through metabolic waste and toxins. It's a bit like sorting through a cluttered attic. Water is the key to swift sorting, allowing your liver to efficiently flush out the unwanted bits. But when you deprive your liver of this essential tool, it's like sending the housekeeper into the attic without a flashlight. A less effective cleanup. And science supports that view. Experts emphasize the link between dehydration and liver function. The research suggests that inadequate hydration can hinder your liver's detoxification ability. Number 5. Drinking too much alcohol. Imagine a night out with friends. Laughter, clinking glasses, you're having a good time. But as you revel in the moment, it's essential to peek behind the scenes to where your liver is quietly managing the aftermath of those drinks. Your liver, the unsung hero, transforms alcohol into less harmful substances like a turning chaos into order. We all know that alcohol isn't good for your liver, but you would be surprised how little it takes to have a negative impact. Just 80 grams of alcohol daily increases liver cancer risk fivefold. A standard can of beer or a glass of wine already contains 14 grams of alcohol, so it doesn't take that much. Excessive alcohol consumption overwhelms your liver, causing inflammation and impairing its ability to perform other vital tasks. This sets the stage for a concerning sequel, the progression of liver diseases like fatty liver liver, cirrhosis and liver cancer. A drink every now and then is fine, but don't let it become a habit. Number 4. Not getting enough exercise. We all do it. Finding excuses for not going to the gym, skipping our exercise or postponing that walk around the block until tomorrow. But the next day we find another excuse and never do it. After all, an evening spent lounging on the couch after work is tempting, isn't it? Yet, as your body rests, your liver remains at the helm navigating the intricate dance of metabolic processes. Just like you need occasional stretches to prevent stiffness, your liver craves movement to keep its gears oiled. Visualize this, your liver is like a finely tuned engine. Regular exercise is the fuel that propels it into action, optimizing its functions. When you embrace a sedentary lifestyle, it's akin to keeping that engine dormant for extended periods. The result? Your liver's efficiency dips, potentially leading to fat accumulation and sluggishness. The science supports this. Studies suggest that physical inactivity contributes to the development of fatty liver disease. Regular movement, on the other hand, revs up your liver's metabolic engine, keeping it nimble and effective. Just as you wouldn't expect a car to run smoothly without a spin now and then, give your liver the workout it craves to keep your internal machinery in peak condition. Number 3. Eating too much sugar. The temptation is high and always present in our everyday life. Desserts, soft drinks and candies galore. Your taste buds revel in the sweetness, but behind the scenes, your liver is grappling with an intricate challenge. Your liver, the master of metabolism is designed to process natural sugars much like a skilled chef crafts a delightful dessert. However, when you flood it with excessive added sugars, it's like asking that chef to whip up an entire bakery's worth of treats single-handedly. Visualize this scenario. Your liver transforms sugar into energy, storing excess as glycogen. When its storage overflows, it converts the surplus into fat, which can clog up your liver like a cluttered attic. This accumulation can lead to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, a condition increasingly prevalent due to diet diets rich in added sugars. Science echoes this concern. Research points to a strong connection between high sugar consumption and liver diseases. Moderation in added sugar intake not only sweetens your overall health, but also ensures your liver operates in tip-top shape. Number 2. Taking too many painkillers. Are you instantly reaching for painkillers when only the slightest sign of pain arises? Well, maybe you should slow down a bit. Your liver plays a vital role in processing medications, including painkillers like paracetamol, ibuprofen and others. However, your liver can struggle to maintain balance when faced with an excess of these medications. An overload can strain its functions and potentially lead to liver damage over time. Doctors caution against the frequent or prolonged use of certain painkillers as Studies suggest a link between excessive use and liver issues. Consider moderation in painkiller consumption to ensure your liver's well-being. And number one, ignoring the signs of liver disease. Many people don't realize they have liver problems until they become serious and irreversible. Some of the signs of liver problems include skin and eyes that appear yellowish, constantly feeling tired and weak, confusion or forgetfulness, abdominal pain and swelling, swelling in the legs and ankles, itchy skin, dark urine color, pale stool color, chronic fatigue, and nausea or vomiting. 
If you notice any of these symptoms, don't ignore them and see your doctor as soon as possible. Early detection and treatment can further prevent damage to your liver. Now you know which habits you have to give up for better liver health. But there's more you can do. Choosing the right nutrition can help your liver big time, so click on the video showing on your screen right now to find out which foods support your liver. I see you there.